when you're in school, when you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone, that we're not good enough. And, you know, we have to change ourselves. And, you know, so many people put me down and say, Nick, you look too weird and no one's really your friend and you can't do this and you can't do that. And I couldn't change anything. It's not like just fixing my hair one day and everything's fine. I couldn't change my circumstance. I couldn't just one day wake up and say, hey, give me arms and legs. I need arms and legs. It was so hard because people put me down. And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. That I'd never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. And it was so hard, man. I thought to myself, I, you know, I can't go on, the, go on the soccer field like everybody else. And I can't ride my bike and I can't skateboard and all these sort of things. And I started getting depressed. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are you just here to live to die? I mean... Is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mom and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? And they, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have, though, is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe... In yourself, you're going to believe everybody else's judgment on you. How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you, I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs and I wish I could do this. But what can I do? You see, I have a choice. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. But I had to ask myself a couple questions. And the first question was really, who am I? Who am I? I'm Nick Voyages, but who is that? Because there's nothing good about having no limbs. But I love my life. Do you want to know why? Because I've seen the purpose. When you see me for the first time, many of you felt sorry for me. Do you feel sorry for me anymore? No. Why? Because you know who I am. But don't you remember I have no arms and no legs? Would you want to be my friend? Heart is what separates the average from the exceptional. And I have learned in life that heart beats talent every time. Show me a man or woman with heart and I'll show you a way to overcome someone else's talent.